Hey everyone, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm going to do a curly hair routine for all you fellas out there. I know it's been a minute, so we're gonna get those curls popping. But obviously, I'm going to need a man for this video. So I have a special guest. Gary L. Gray, welcome back. You guys might have seen him in a video like a long time ago. No, 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 no. It's been a minute, <laughs> but his curls have been popping lately. Yeah. What have you been doing, sir? Well, you know, I've just been finally finding a routine that works, you know, thanks to watching a little somebody's videos. I'm not gonna say <laughs> um, But yeah, no, finding a routine that works takes a process, it really does. But I think I finally found it. I use all Cantu products. Ooh. And uh, yeah, it works. So Cantu, if you guys saw my last video for products under $20, I did use some Cantu. I love that all their products are affordable and they also are sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. So let's look at Gary's hair. This is how it is right now. There's nothing in it right now, right? We're just nope. dry. Yep. Okay, cool. Waking Time to wash it. <laughs> he woke up like this. <laughs> but his curls are definitely thicker than mine. He has a tighter curl pattern. So I would say that his curls are probably either maybe even like 4A, 3C, like around that borderline. Uh, his curls are more defined in the front over here and less in the back. But wait until you guys see his routine. They're going to look amazing. So let's get you in the shower and start washing. So here is Gary's hair in its most natural state. There's nothing in it, no product. He literally woke up like this. So let's get him in the shower and we're gonna rinse the hair. And now we're going to apply our shampoo. We'll be using the Cantu Shea Butter Apple Cider Vinegar Root Rinse. So this rinse is really good to clean your scalp, get rid of any dirt, product buildup, and has a little nozzle on it so you could apply it directly to your scalp. Rub it all in there and then rinse it out. Now we're gonna grab the Hydrating Cream Conditioner by Cantu, and we like to always apply a lot of conditioner. And this is going to be the start of our detangling. So really get it in there, moisturize those curls. And then he also decided to grab a brush to add a little bit more curl definition. So he's brushing it all forward and smoothing out each curl just to really make sure those curls are defined as possible. And then you rinse it out. Now a step that Gary likes to take is to adding coconut oil. This is literally coconut oil like from the grocery store, nothing fancy. But as I will agree, it is a really great way to detangle your hair. He also adds the Cantu Tea Tree and Jojoba Hair and Scalp Oil and applies this directly to the top of his curls and a little bit in the palm. This plus the coconut oil makes it super easy to detangle. Now you just continue to rub it through your hair, getting rid of any tangles or knots and just gonna do a little slight rinse. So not too much water, just rinse out a little bit, but it's okay to keep a little bit of these oils in your hair. And that's it. That completes the entire wash routine. And we're back, fresh out the shower. His <laughs> curls already look more defined and it was pretty easy for you to detangle, right? Yeah, definitely. So what's next? What do we have for our styling products? We have Cantu Weave-In Conditioner. Okay, the leave-in. And we have also the Cantu Curling Cream. Curling Cream, uh, great. So which one do you apply first? Leave-in. Leave-in, all right, let's do it. So how much are you gonna use? So, um, you kind of feel it out a little bit, but I start with usually a nice little dollop. A little glob, that. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your hair's still soaking wet, Still right? soaking wet, has to be soaking wet. I figured out that this is like probably one of the most important things. Don't dry it at all, soaking wet. Um, not even with a towel, don't even wring it out in the shower. Just leave it as wet as possible. And just sort of work it through with your fingers. Um, make sure it's all in there. Um, this is feeling pretty good right now. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more, just like that, just for the crown in the center to make sure there's the least amount of frizz as possible. Sometimes if there is a lot of frizz in there, you can sort of finger curl it a little bit just to make sure some of that goes oh, away. What you know about finger curling, uh, boy? You know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and then just sort of munch that together, scrunch it a little bit. Curling cream, and this can be a little bit less because it is kind of heavy. It's very so, thick. Yeah, it's very, very thick, so you don't want to lay it down. So this is usually what I start out with, if you can see that, boom, boom, boom. And I start off edges first. 
um, because that's what you want to be defined. So not um, really on, on the roots. Not the really, just right on the tips. And then I kind of do this motion just to kind of get everything all together. Scrunch it, shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking always helps. <laughs> Shaking always helps. And uh, yeah, and then you, you know, everybody's hair is different obviously, but you know, for me, this is, you know, I don't know the curl type as you said, <laughs> but for my curl type, usually once this is all in and you can sort of air dry it, shake it out, and, uh, Ooh, looks good. Let me get a close-up of that. And voila! These curls look amazing. They are so bouncy. They look shiny. They're defined. They look moisturized. I absolutely love the final results. If you guys love the results as well, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. And make sure you follow my friend on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Gary L. Gray. And of course, follow me at Ms. Bianca Renee. I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Now you can just do a, a fast spin. Just go like this. <laughs> Why did that come to mind? <laughs> I don't know. Because it was spinning. It just...